Let's just start off with that fall in the stock price because it was notable. It was a fairly significant drop. Um, and I mean, simply put, if I could, I guess those who were selling the stock perhaps were doing so on the belief that, you know, your, the, the GMV increase you saw driven in part, they would argue, by the pandemic is not durable. Uh, how do you answer that uh, that belief? Yeah, look, you know, first it's important to recognize the quarter. We grew 38 percent in the quarter in revenue. We haven't grown at that level since 2005. GMV grew at 24 uh, percent. And even if you look at our outlook for Q2, it has us growing four billion dollars in GMV year over two years. So a sizable amount of growth. So we actually feel great about where the business is. It's important to take a step back and look a year ago, the business was contracting at 2%. Now we're a $10 billion business. We've added over $2 billion in revenue over the last 12 months. Payments and advertising is allowing revenue to grow even faster than GMV. We're now a top 20 advertiser, even though our main business is in e-commerce. But I think the most important thing is that our core playbook is working and we're expanding it to other categories. Take a category like sneakers that had been declining double digits. And now it's grown triple digits four quarters in a row. And so we've only just gotten started with a single digit percentage of our GMV on this new playbook. And it makes us very optimistic for the future of eBay. Yeah. Tell me a bit more about some of those uh, those verticals that you've been uh, creating. I guess, you know, one to come to is trading cards. Uh, you know, and again, I come back to this idea. Is this ephemeral or is this something that you believe is going to be with us for quite some time? And therefore, you're going to continue to see the kind of growth you already have. You know, collectibles is a core category and trading cards is a key part of that. We've already done a billion dollars in GMV in the first quarter, and that's more than we did in, in half of all of last year's record setting levels. So we actually think collectibles will continue to be an important focus for us. If you think about the business, we've really shifted to non new and season. It's a five hundred billion dollar total addressable market. And we're only high single digit, low double digit penetrated. So we have lots of opportunity for growth, not just in an area like collectibles, but in a lot of our big categories where we haven't even yet rolled out our playbook. Think motors, parts and accessories, fashion, electronics, lots of opportunity and runway ahead for eBay. And now we just saw a graphic that showed your active buyer counts about 187 million globally, up 7 percent. There it is again. Uh, and over the last year, you added 13 million buyers. I mean, can you continue at that pace? Again, back to the overall concern of those who sold the stock, there seems to be a belief that your growth overall, uh, both in GMV, but also in the marketplace itself, is going to slow. Yeah, when you look at those new buyers we acquired, the 13 million new buyers, another record-setting number, what's great is that their behavior is similar to buyers before the pandemic. So they didn't just come to us for one and done and actually to buy PPE or something like that. They actually are sticking around and turning into enthusiasts. Importantly, as we're changing the customer experience all across eBay in our focus on non-new and season. So take certified refurbish. It now comes with a two-year warranty, 30-day hassle-free returns, and eBay money-back guarantee. It's growing. We're authenticating watches. That grew at 16% last quarter, now growing at 38%. When you think about payments and the ability to have one integrated experience, we're really changing the buyer experience. And that means these cohorts are going to be really healthy for a long time. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.